What's up, guys and girls, and welcome to episode zero two of Direct Influencer, hosted by myself, that girl Rahima. I'm very excited by today's guest. If you are watching on YouTube or listening, and you can read the title, you can see who I had the honor of sitting next to today, Mr. Drip King, Fred <laughs> Santana. That's regular. <laughs> how are you? I'm good, thanks. Yourself? I'm good, thank you. Um, how's March treating you? Um, it's been all right. I'm I'm inside. I'm hiding from the world right now. <laughs> I'm inside. But can't complain. That Chilling. is a very big mood. Um, mm. For those who may or may not know you, if you don't know Fred, you need to find Shame quickly. <laughs> Do you want to really introduce yourself and tell them where they can find you? Um, I'm Fred Santana. I'm one third of the 90s baby show. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're some podcasters from South London, but we've moved out a little bit. You know, Tem, Dennis bought house, married and engaged. You're Been nice. doing it for about seven years now. Um. Okay. Yeah, still going, just still having fun, nice. being adults now. You adults. know, scary. How is adulting? It's crazy. Is it what like, you expected? Nah, nah. Never thought it would be this hard. If you could go back to like any age, what would it be? Definitely like six, seven. Wow, that young. That young. Like secondary school was cool, but six, seven was like a different innocence, and we're just here to play. Like I, my niece. She's seven, and I say, so what are you doing today? And she just says, playing. Does your I'm niece like, That's niece cold. have, like, is she on TikTok and tablet? And I don't think she's got an account, but she's got TikTok. Like, I don't think she posts videos, but she watches it. She she loves YouTube more. Like, she just watches, she just watches it. She, watch, she's, she does her own thing. She's got her own content. She watches it, but she sees her uncles on it. Yeah, like, my brother, my other brother does music. I do what I do. And she'll come and say, yeah, I saw you guys on YouTube. Like, she's happy about it, you know. I've got cool with it. Like that, they literally. My little cousins are my biggest support. Yeah, they're, they're cool. Every video that they're commenting, liking, playing it, yeah. all the aunties and uncles sitting there watching. I'm like, guys, yeah. can we, can we calm down? Yeah. Like, yeah. let's calm down. And one of them actually started her own channel. She just sent a link. She said, "What?" She said, "Who edited this?" She did it herself. She's cold thirteen. Yeah, they know this thing. They grew up on internet and media. You know, they're gonna be cold at it. I love that for them. We didn't have yeah. these so. They're going to be the next big things. And um, before we get deep into our conversation, I wanted to play a quick game mm. this or that. So it's quite simple. Two options. You pick one. Yeah. So the first one is, do you prefer wearing trainers or sliders? <sighs> That's tough. That's tough now. I'm coming off trainers, you know, so it's probably really? sliders at this age. Yeah, oh, freedom. Okay, what's your favourite kind of sliders? I got I got regular sliders, I got Crocs, I got Birkenstocks. Wow. I want to be able to wear the Birkenstocks more. Socks or Yeah, socks? yeah. Birkenstocks is, is the thing right now. <laughs> um what else? Um do you prefer wearing cargoes or jeans? <sighs> Defo don't like jeans. I've only got maybe two or three cargoes, but defo cargoes. And do you prefer going to the gym or exercising outside? Oh, I hate outside and I don't like gym anymore. Ooh, I can't. I cancelled my membership. Oh, cancelled. It hurts. It's too painful. I'm saying. How much was your membership? It was not even the price. It's the physical, oh, mm-hmm. distant lifting weight. Come home, body sore, no gains. So I forget. It was like twenty five pound or something like that. But I haven't cancelled mine yet. It's cancelled. Signed it's, off in January. I work out. I work out at home, and I hate street running or going to the park. It's cold. No, no. Do you follow like a YouTube video? Or you just- yeah, I got my boy, uh, Mr. Fitspiration. He just moved to Dubai, um, doing PT out there. I just, I just watch his videos and work out to that. I'll check him out. Is it more mm. heavy weighting? No, nah, it's um, it's body weights, light weights, just it's hit circuits. Okay. Yeah, toning and stuff. All right, next this or that. Do you prefer going on a vacation or a gangcation? Ooh, it's tough. <laughs> It is. Like, I'll be honest. Like, I like going away with my girl. But Afro Nation with the Mandem was the coldest holiday. Yeah, so... Coldest holiday ever. <laughs> I'm actually annoyed. I never saw you guys at Afro Nation. Crazy. I was like that same Afro Nation. It was cold. Like, <laughs> n- nothing... Like, I like going away with my girl, but Afro Nation was... So you guys had the the villa or Yeah, we had the villa. It was like... Barbecue. Yeah, there was eight, eight of us in eight or so of us going to the beach every day, four days straight. Music up there, good vibe. It was crazy, but I'm going to have better vacations than I've had. Like, I've had good ones in Mykonos, mm-hmm. Dubai, etc. But I need, like, Mexico, Bali, 
All of that. Like when it goes to that level, then yeah, Portugal's done it. Eh? So yeah, but for what's happened thus far, that Afro nation the coldest. <laughs> and when you went on holiday with your guys, do you guys do you guys argue when they go on holiday? I don't think we argued that holiday. We argue, but not in the sense that we're gonna we was gonna fight. Like it'll be who's better at football, who's better at me. Like it's just a friendly argument, com- competitive. Like, but we've I've been on holidays and we've argued that we could scrap today, but <laughs> we're good in the morning. Like and when it comes to like picking bedrooms, who has the first say? Do you guys share? Usually, the person who sourced the hotel is in good stead, or when you get there. Run and find it quick. Yeah. Jump on, put your suitcase, Jeez. shout, get in the yeah, yeah. Say this is mine. Then you go toilet, come back. No one's troubled you. Cool, cemented. Yeah, but usually be the one to book and like source. You found the ho- you found the flight, you found the hotel, you collected everyone's money. No one can chat to you. <laughs> like listen, if it wasn't for me, we wouldn't. Yeah, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't be here. But it's true. And um, I guess say, do you? You prefer you prefer working a nine to five for the rest of your life or <laughs> podcasting full time? Podcasting full time. Ooh. <laughs> you didn't even think about that. Yeah, Straight making away. money for another man. No, we need to stop that one as soon as possible. Okay, as soon as. Would you rather go to prison or go to war? War. <laughs> war? Yeah. Really? Yeah, man, I'm not trying to be locked up with man. Yeah, I'd rather scrap and die. <laughs> like, it's it's fun. It's more fun. Prison's not fun. Prison's not fun like war isn't fun or funny. Mm-hmm. But the, let me get a younger dreading in rush. But I have to. I have to. I have to be. I'm not going to war for England. <laughs> Nigeria. I'll go to war for Nigeria. Cool. No problem. England impossible. Nigeria. Yeah. If someone's bullying Nigerians. You're scrapping. That's it. Theory. You have to fight for your country. <laughs> yeah. Um. Obviously, I'm a big fan of the Nigel Davis show, and I literally watch everything you guys do, even mm. on Patreon. And when I'm watching you guys, from observing you, I can tell that you're like a really good story fan teller. So my question for you is: When you do have children, how are you going to explain to your kids how you survived the pandemic for two years <laughs> and this war that's going on in Ukraine? Like, do you tell them, "Yeah, I was." Like, are you gonna add Maggie to the Oh story? yeah. <laughs> like, oh I had yeah. Corona, I was in a coma. Like, oh yeah. I thought, every time I sneezed, I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was it. My ribs started hurting. <laughs> Pete. Oh my god. And then it was tough. Really yeah, they, they'll never tough. go for anything. They will, but they they won't. They I'll won't. I'll dress it up that you lot will never go for anything like we went through. Yeah, they believe us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The evidence is. Is there like it's not in, it's not gonna it's gonna be in textbooks, but it's gonna be visual evidence as well. Like unlike the wars back in the day, like the First World War, I ain't seen a picture of that shit. I ain't gonna see a video, but they gonna see every not even just Ukraine, everything that happens in Palestine, Syria, all these other countries, everywhere there's whatever going on, the visual evidence is nuts, but the propaganda is just as high. Yeah, that's true. On topics of Ukraine. See the guy who decided to volunteer himself and then got turned down. Got turned it's crazy because stuff like that makes me think: is what? Well, what kind of war is this? <laughs> it's a fake war. Because the war back in the day, are oh, we taking everyone we can get? I don't give a toss. And on that saying, I saw like they they were just telling random Ukraine people they can't leave; they have to stay. Do they have military experience? I'm so confused. Like I don't know what they're fighting over. I don't know. I don't know why that man fought. Like, how, bro, do you know what they're fighting? If I asked him, do you, what are they fighting over? If you can't, if you can't tell me, why are you going? It, I don't understand. I don't know what they're fighting over. Everyone's just cussing him out, and certain people are backing him, saying, "Well, he's trying to help." I'm just like, help what? Why are you getting Boy, involved? Yeah, well, help. Why are you announcing you're helping? Just go. If you are, if you just go, just go. But. I don't know how you're going to get there because if flights are going into Ukraine, that's brazy. Like, how did you get there? Another thing that's annoying me is these news reporters yeah. going live like, oh my God, there was a bomb. I'm real confused. How news reporters, they you never get shot. Like they're standing in front <laughs> oh, no. of the Ukrainian shoulders <laughs> and they don't get shot. I'm thinking, what is going on? What's happening? 
You think my mum will let me leave to Ukraine <laughs> with camera? I said, Mum, just gonna go and where? I saw some TikTok of some African guy sending his dad a voice note saying he's leaving, going to Ukraine. He said, Do you think he quoted something from the Bible? I don't know what he was. He said, Who do you think you are? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> don't give me high blood pressure. Yeah, Come yeah, back home yeah. now. The braziest thing is how they're treating Africans. Yeah. I didn't know there was black people in Ukraine. So I, I didn't know what, what I, I don't know. I, never, yeah, no, no. I know you can get education anywhere, but I didn't know Ukraine was the place to go. So I didn't know they was there. When I found out they was there and they're not letting men on the trains and that, one, I get, I get it. If we was in, I don't know if we, if we was in Nigeria, Nigerians would be the same and say Nigerians first. Mm-hmm. Or not even just Nigeria, just Africa. Because like, exactly. whenever like Prince William or them come, they Walk put them on in. their shoulder and carry them into the village and everyone's dancing, it's crazy. When Big Mommy goes back home, there's nothing going on. It's it's mad. We treat like other races better than our own. Yeah, I don't I don't know if they will even say white people first. You guys wait. Yeah, oh, it's crazy, but <laughs> cause they don't. Want, I don't know, but I get I get it. You, yo, I'm. This is Ukraine. Ukrainians first. I get it, but it's mad. Like it's crazy. The one thing white people will do is be racist, no mm. matter what the time, day, occasion. <laughs> As quickly as possible quickly. I don't know I don't know the situation Going on out there I'm not trying to keep up Because One story will contradict another Then I'll just believe it even less Right now I believe it mm-hmm. So the less I see The more I believe I don't even watch the news Everything I get Is either from the Shade Bar or Twitter mm. <laughs> But <laughs> Even them the sources news, They're, they're brazy Like That's why I'm trying to not Because someone will say something I'll just be sceptical How do you how, Who told you what, how, Was you, you there like, We used to cuss WhatsApp aunties and aunties yeah. That we are basically Yeah like, we, sh- I told my mum The queen has died She called my dad And said the queen has died I said mum I was I was joking <laughs> Like I think Like I don't I don't know It's a cycle What you heard it from What's that boy in that America American Oh, whoever is it Hollywood Blues or something Hollywood Unlocked That's the one And then he retrieved his statement He did it I thought he backed it He, he said I said what points. I said He backed it with five points But he said maybe I got it wrong Donut But I don't think he's lying <laughs> She ain't dead You don't think she's dead? If she's dead No one would guess You would. It would be illegal to guess mm. They release it If you can't release it before them You're dead You're <laughs> done at it like. They're looking at everyone's teeth When she does mm. die They're coming for you guys They're gonna yeah. say you so it'll be it'll be soon though. Just us waiting for that one hundred. But after that, but don't yeah. you think it's mad? We've never, me personally, I've never seen another queen like it's always been. Her. It's always been her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How will life I think be so. with? I don't know, I don't know who's next. Charles or William? What's I? This Harry might have to come back He's soon though. Back now he has to because he might be the only one to spin the coop well. Like that other joke, man. Even what's his brother's name, William? William. Even what he William. said that oh, the, oh, the, the, the yeah, the West ain't used to this. Africa, yeah, that's where war happens. And that, bro, you've been involved in two world wars, couple civil wars, the Battle of Waterloo, <laughs> Hastings. <laughs> like, bro, you've had war. What are you talking war. about? Like your your whole monarchy. That's what it's for. You're, you're like, it needs to all be abolished. I'm tired. Like, it's what crazy. They, do? they just. I say we're not used to it over here, bro. You have guards outside your <laughs> gate. Oh god. You have cannons. Another thing I was also thinking, if say like Putin decided, you know what, UK, I've had enough of you lot. Where do you think he's gonna bomb first? Because like, UK is big. We have Berlin. Do Lon- do London first. <laughs> no, do it. I live in London. Do it. We if we can evacuate on time, cool. If not, bomb it. Because the house prices, bomb it. Finish everything. Thing. You know, back in the day in bombs, they used to hide underground. Yeah, yeah underground I've got a bunker stuff. still. I'm finished. But bomb it. Because I'll be damned <laughs> if I if I pay now and, and then, then you bomb, bomb it, it, bomb it now. If you're going to bomb it, bomb it. Because I'm tired, bruv. Bomb it so we can all start again somewhere else. We're tired in this place called <laughs> London, yeah? Expensive. Get rid of it. Just delete London and let's move to Shropshire. We'll cool off it. I don't know. It's <laughs> cheap though. It's oh, cheap. God. Couple farmlands. We'll all grow veg. Oh my God. Chilling. Uh, London's awesome. mad and it's shit. It is. But then saying that, I feel like London's where it's at as well. It's not. It's not. What's going on here? What's going on? Here you have a fight. 
There's nothing going. No, nah, we ain't even had carnival for the last two years. It should be back this year. Hopefully. We hope so. I'll be there for. Oh there. yeah, of course. Rain. Sun, so, I'm coming outside. Boy. This is my last one. <laughs> but I'm coming. I'll be there. Makes sense. Makes sense. Well, there's a lot of things I really want to speak to you today about. But my question of the day for mm. you today is: In the industry, there's not really a lot of male influencers, and I see you as a male influencer. Mm. The way you dress, podcasting. Why do you think there's more ladies doing influencing than guys? Because guys are behind. Women are further ahead than us. Like you, women have so many more hustles. The man them thought all they could do is sell drugs mm-hmm. and rap. And maybe play football. You women sell hair, do nails, plan weddings, do makeup, manage artists, get regular jobs. Like women never, when women weren't allowed to, when women were allowed to work, going to work. To work. Man, them. Yeah, he was, yeah, was beefing us to go work. Suffragette. Come, come. Yeah. See, we want to. The man them are like, what, you work nine to five? Man them frown upon upon work. Nah. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, man them honest. are like, what? Well, I'm not getting a job. I'm not doing deliveries. I'm not working in Tesco. I'm not doing... Bro, you're just going to end up the same as everyone else. I was talking with Tem about that after, earlier today. Like, rappers have man them around them. And once the rapper blows... The man them, after a couple of years, start chatting shit like, oh yeah, man blew and didn't really put the man them on. But what it is, is like, bro, you're a man. You're me to blow and then give you money. As a grown man, you want another man to just give you money. What are you doing? Like, you're not, you're not even tour manager. You're not, you're not, you're not doing videos. You're not doing nothing. You just want money. Like, can I just give you money? You ain't even... Helping me make more, you just want. <laughs> now you're looking at your your man them side. You're just like man them are just t- behind women. They are behind. They're behind. It's true, and they also look down on women as well. They'll be like, oh, your little eyelash business or your little this business. Like, <laughs> why are you hating? Man them are I, not all man them are useless. Some <laughs> man, some men are coming into things like so, I got guys that are plumbers, electricians, but it's not enough. Like there was a point. You know, I'd look in my phone book. I could get weed, but I couldn't get no one to fix my sink. Oh, no. My sink is blocked. It's blocked. It's like, yeah, I got that Cali, though. Well, I can't do <laughs> nothing with I that. Like, that? <laughs> sink is still blocked. You know, so... But men them are getting better, though. But women are... They're better than us. Okay, but men them are getting better. You're obviously a male podcaster. And mm. as of recent, there's been a lot of backlash towards... No podcast, mm-hmm. but I feel like it's not really indirect to you guys. It's not that it's, it's not it's uh, it's not really any of us in the UK. What do you think? It's the Americans. It's not us. Yeah, it's true. The viral clips it's are the, the Americans. It's the Americans. It's them guy. You know, I yeah, don't. I don't see. I don't even say their name. Names, yeah. It's them. It's not us. Some yeah, we chat shit too, but <laughs> they're like terrible. Like their shit is weird to listen to as a man. I'm like, are these these? Did these not even? You see women at the table, but like, do you even get? But these, I don't know, is it, these women, th- 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 I wouldn't even talk to you, like, but they're just trying to get their faces out there. Them women, they're like, yeah, that's a, pl- a platform with some big numbers. I'll sit at that table one day. Mm-hmm. F it, get my numbers and cut. But it's brazy. Yeah, it's it's not us. I was never worried. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> that's good. I you talk guys- about science. Mm-hmm. You do. You do. <laughs> it's you not do me. Talk it's not science. me. <laughs> it's not me. Oh yeah. I was watching today's episode with um, Shia. Yeah. You guys don't know what I'm talking about because you're the <laughs> But you, you talk about the... It felt like a science lesson. I was like... Yeah, science really again. Oh, should we, we did some maths. We did some, some science. Stuff. A bit of geology. I thought, Damn, yeah. this is why my science teacher was always sending me out because what mm. are they even talking about? Like? <laughs> we wasn't listening either. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. So, um, you guys obviously the GOATs. You've done live shows. Mm. You're on Patreon. You guys have a new podcast studio what advice would you have for people who want to be upcoming and follow you guys' path consistency that's the that's the main thing you can't go nowhere without it like you release one week you don't release for three months people gonna find something to fill that gap you know if you release on Wednesdays at 4pm people say Wednesdays 4pm this is where I'm coming you miss three of those I need something else to fill my 4pms (laughs) Oh, <laughs> I'm out. 
something now fills my 4 p.m. So what you drop Wednesday at 4 p.m. Again, I'm busy. It's now Wednesday at 7 p.m. Someone else already has that slot. You're out of the loop. You know, you got to build that. The, the, the hundred listeners you lost, you need to get them back. You need to get new ones. It's consistency. It's consistency. Like people always ask for, you know, four or five years. I've said, you're not without consistency. I can't tell you what jokes to tell or what stories or topics to talk about. Mm-hmm. All I could tell you is consistency. Makes sense. Makes sense. So when is you guys' next live show? I actually haven't been to one. Mm. Tiffany has been. But in my defense, every time there has been a live show, I've lacked. And the one time I could come and the link was being dropped in Patreon, it was my brother's baby shower. So I had uh, to be there. Yeah. So when's the That's next the one? tough thing about, you know, you drop a date, you think, yeah, man, people are free on that day, man. But everyone's got life. So we, we want to do more live shows, but we want to do theaters. Mm-hmm. So we're working on another theater. Um, hopefully it's, you know, a big capacity so more than enough people can come, more than enough tickets. They won't sell out in, you know, 10 minutes, however quick. Um, but yeah, hopefully get one one big one out by the end of the year, for sure. That's good. Mm. And you've obviously, guys, have spoken to a lot of people. Who has been your favourite person you've spoken to <laughs> or favourite episode? Ooh, favorite, my favourite people to speak to are Tem and Dennis. Just yeah, just the, I prefer the solo episodes. Really? Like, they're the best ones. We don't have to cater to um, the guest. I don't mind the guest. That You know, some guests are good. The guest with the best vibe, it may not have been the funniest episode or, like, the best episode, but was Uche. Mm. Like, her vibe was, like, it, there's just an aura about her that was, that's a good vibe. I remember that episode. I feel like yeah. she was plugging you guys with like connections. Yeah, she like yeah. even just like before you start recording, it's just a good energy about her. She's a good woman. Um Arnold George is always fun. Um who else is what's a what's one that I like? Those are those are two standouts. But then there's always there's always like good moments. Mm-hmm. There's always like back row G. There's been a few. Um who else? Even Sayo was that was jokes to me. <laughs> was Marvin was fun. Taser. Yeah, those are some those are some those are some that are jumping out to me right now. Nella's always good vibes. Yeah. Um, but then obviously the one that, you know, made us with Tom Mucci. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are some good ones. But yeah, Defo prefer the solos. Um, yeah, Defo prefer the solos. I think my favorite one of you guys. As of recently, was the one with um, Don't Jealous Me Anymore. Oh, yeah, that was, that was good was too. Hilarious. Yeah, 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 yeah. And obviously, again, if you're not on Patreon, <laughs> the one with the, with the fiance, wives, yeah, yeah, and yeah, girlfriends. Yeah. That episode was too funny. Like, you guys were getting grilled. You see, because- as, as men, yeah, in public, you don't want to defend yourself too much. Too much. Because yeah. then you open yourself to people that ain't inside your side and they start saying, ah, he was a bit... I think you don't want them problems, innit? You but don't, You don't know our relationship. Yeah, you have to relax. So, yeah. They, and this is their first time, so they was excited and making noise. So you, <laughs> if there was visuals, you'd just see us in there just like... <laughs> look at Yeah, us. just <laughs> shouting. No, shout, shout. But, um, yeah, looking to do spin-offs, though. Do Patreon, uh, Patreon spin-offs. So, yeah. You, like they should even start their own podcast. Yeah, their schedules though, like it's worse than us. <laughs> them women are busy, um, but um, busy. yeah, we'll we'll get them in. We'll get them in more. And those will be pay, more Patreon exclusives. They'll be in a lot more. That's good. Mm. And if you could have like your who would your dream guest be? Ooh, anyone in the world? Mm. Oh, it's tough. Dream guest could be. It's tough. Because I'm thinking UK, uh, US quite a lot at the moment. I like, ooh, there's a lot. I'm think I was I was thinking Martin Lawrence, Eddie Murphy. I was thinking um, Dame Dash. I was thinking Noriega, Drink Champs. Kanye did come to mind. <laughs> You and Kanye in one episode. And Kanye's uh, chaotic. That's the guy. <laughs> that would be too much. That's like. the guy. <laughs> if I was you, uh, what's this place called? UK. Uh, I think Maya Jammer could be fun. Ooh. I'd like, um, is it Little Sims? Yeah, Little Sims. 
I was like Little Sims. There's one more person who's key. Wait, I've wrote it down. It's a long list of people. Where is it? Okay, we had that person. Steph London would be fun. Steph. I'd like to talk to Steph. How is it reaching out to guests like? Who does it out of you? Um, we all do it. We we before it was when it was just me and Tem hosting the show. Um, it was me and Tem reaching out to everyone. Um, then Dennis got involved, start reaching out to a few people too. Some you know you tweet them, you DM them, mm. you see them out, you get their contact. But then a lot this year, people are messaging us. You know, like the labels all want to boost their artist's uh, profile and, and showcase their personality. Um, that's a sign in itself. Um, of so, yeah, of th- so many things, you know, the recognition that we're on the label's radar is shifting from radio to podcast also has to be part of the promo run. But maybe the music isn't speaking enough for itself oh. that we have to boost profiles in more ways than one. You artists need to talk a little more. Because the whole game is shifting. Album sales are down. Yeah. Everywhere. Like, people ain't buying albums like they used to. So to make sure artists are in, you know, the mind of the listeners, best get out there and show them you're doing something. But artists need to do a lot more. Like, you got they, they got to start producing content in different ways. And you see it with some of them. They do 24 hours with on, like, Link Up or GRM. Or they do documentaries. Or they do vlogs, like... That stuff is really going to help and push you to become a star and then a superstar. Like some of them are just, you've got a buzz, you've got a fan base, but all of us can do more and be more. Like the scene is in a place where it's never been before. Yeah. There's opportunities and we just got to, you know, make more money to be able to put on more people to be able to build it even more. And a lot of people are becoming famous just from TikTok. I need to. I don't understand that, app, man. That under app is. Hours and lives are crazy. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I just don't have my ear to the ground much on TikTok, but it's hard to change your life off one viral video. Yeah, like cool. then, actually, it did change, but then it's like a one hit wonder. Yeah, so and then more. maintenance, consistency. Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> if you don't go viral again, again, you just bought a house for however much, <laughs> but. You ain't got no more money. How are you going to pay for this? So it's tough. I would say don't 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 get carried away of one, you know, because there's always tomorrow and bills. Hey. <laughs> so don't go sp- sp- <laughs> uh, spending your first check on big things mm-hmm. that need um, regular payments. Cool, if you buy a drip, that's one-off payment. But if you buy a car and house and take it easy, make sure you got <laughs> the paychecks coming. Yeah, because... Yeah. Now I wanted to talk about like your fashion sense. Mm. When I introduced you, I said Drip Kim because again, if you're following Fred, you know he comes through with the the outfits. And I wanted to know like when you're picking an outfit, like what's your thought process? Um, my thought process is is my mood usually. I either I dress how I feel. Mm-hmm. And that's like in colours. If I'm not in the mood, I'm gonna wear black. Keep it just black. If I'm in the mood, I put some colours on. Okay. I put colours on. And do you look up to anyone for like fashion inspo? Hundred percent. I like ASAP style. I like a lot of styles. ASAP Wiz, uh, Jim Jones. Um, who are, I like Andre Three Thousand style. There's a lot of styles. I wouldn't say I dress one way. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah. Uh, yeah, I like colors. In. Yeah, patterns, logos. Like the clocks, yeah, like I don't like I don't like designer though. Like everything is designer yeah. or a brand, but I'm not getting the Teddy with his head ripped off. Mm-hmm. What's that brand? <laughs> Whatever Mark that. Angels. Yeah, I'm not buying that. Well, how much is that? Three hundred pounds. I bought one. Then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying it's it. It's even got I don't know bleach stain on it. I'm really annoyed because you could say it's part of the design now, but. <laughs> I'm not. How much was it? Three hundred. Two hundred and sixty-five. Jesus, it's lot. Did your mum know? See, I lied to her because my mum, but my mum's she's one up me. So you see, when she saw Jesus, she went to Google. Yeah. Even you know the Valencia. Yeah. Said, it's only. She said. Yeah. Five hundred. Yeah. That's rent. 
That's rent. <laughs> are you contributing? <laughs> it's just hair and designer. Are you even con- <laughs> get out of my house. Don't lie. Listen. I used to do it too. Like, my mom would be like, how much is that? I said, mom, man, mom, like, relax. But then I'm like, my boy, it was actually, my boy said, my boy said something to me once. He was like, you're going to buy this. Like, this was only an 80 pound top. And he went, Zara bought a 12 pound top. Said, bro, at the end of the day, we will get the same girls. <laughs> you need said, that motivation. Said, you're right. Said, you're right. I ain't bought, I don't buy 80 pound clothes no more. Like, oh, full tracksuit might be 80, 90 pound, but the top, let me find 24 pounds, whatever pounds. I don't, it don't need to, like, I don't know. I don't get what the significance is in 300 pound t shirts, one wear t shirts. And, and you know, when artists are talking about, yeah, I only wear these uh, Air Forces once, one and done. My guy, shush. Stop it, man. You're, you're leading the kids astray. Maybe it's Connie. Please rewear those Stop. Air Forces. There's none in the shops anymore. There's none anyway. <laughs> I'm looking at mine. I'm saying I need new ones. There's none on yeah, there. There's none. All 130. That's why Air Force are not even that good. Like, mm. it was a basic trainer when it was six. It was a good trainer when it was 60 pounds. I used to get them for 65. Now it's telling me 70 pounds. That shit for some people is 130 pounds. People are looking at it like, it's not worth it. It's not, not but even. the Air Maxes. That was always the 110s when they were one. That's why they're called 110s. When they were 110, cool, yeah, we'll grab that. People are still grabbing 110s at 160 pounds, 100. Yeah, that trainer is, that was a good trainer and it lasts longer. It don't crease like an Air Force. That's true. It don't turn yellow. It don't, you know, so, so Air Max is a better, better trainer. So I think, I don't know if it was this time last year or sometime in the pandemic, he was obviously trying to get to 10,000 followers on mm. Instagram and he was doing the very impressive Instagram reels. He was dropping from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> How did you come up with those ideas? How long did it take to film? And who helped you? <laughs> um, sometimes I film it myself. Sometimes uh, Yasmin would film it. Sometimes my cousin, my boy. Um, I just look at the clothes. What I did, what I have. Cool, let's go film it. And I was just at my house thinking... All right, this is what I'm going to do next. But then sometimes I'd see someone do something mm-hmm. and say, okay, I like that, but I'm going to do it like this. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, go film it. And now that you're at like 10,000 followers, mm. have you seen an increase of brands re- reaching out to you? What's, what's mm. changed? At the time, yeah, when I was frequent with it. But the thing is, Instagram just, they messed up, man. Like, oh. their algorithm is just pants. Like, I don't see my friends' posts. <sighs> I don't see any. I just see ads. They're even telling me suggested prints. I don't know who this person is. Why are you showing me their profile? Uh, ads and and then you know ads and sponsorship and uh, people I don't know. I'm just like, what is this? Like all the apps are just silly right now. It's just like, where can I just get my content to the people oh, where they see it and can enjoy it? And there's no update on the platform. Like everyone's thing is just like. You got, you got, uh, however many followers you got, that it shows it to like 2% of the people. It's like, what have I got these followers for? But, um, yeah, that's why I, I was just like, I'm not even going to bust my gut for this algorithm no more like, to make working. it work for it me. There was a time I was trying to I know, become an influencer and mm. take pictures and post mm. every two days. I said, what? It's long. I'm not going it's nowhere. Long. I should do makeup. I said, Please, you guys don't see me when you see me. I'm not doing They're this. They're going outside thing. to take pictures. You're looking. What's the weather <laughs> what's like? What's the weather? you got to find someone to take pictures. Sure. But then obviously I learned, you know, try yeah. and do it yourself. But yeah. find location. You're find location. Shopping centres. No picture here, please. It's long. It's tough. <laughs> um, have you ever considered, like, dropping a clothing line? Mm, nah, I'm not really into design like that. Because unless... Unless it was like a someone hit me up, I'm a manufacturer. Do you want to do like I don't want to just be printing yeah. stuff. Like I just think that's that's lazy now. Like we we should be past that as a as a culture. We should be past that. It should be proper designs and 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 um ranges. Ranges, yeah. Like people are just printing like popular things on an a angel. Yeah, and... like nah, man, let's let's do this properly if we're gonna do it. So I don't really have a big passion to design clothes. Um, I would rather wear and, you know, model clothes mm-hmm. than be a big designer. But that could change one day if the opportunity comes up. Unless it's like, you know, in a 
you know, it's a proper factory and warehouse and there's time. You know, anything can happen. Okay. Um, recently, you and the other two boys from Nice Baby were on mm. Netflix dating black show. A BT, BT. I thought, was our Netflix? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was Shut BT. Down. Yeah. Such gone wrong. So, yeah, it was BT. And you guys obviously talk about the dating scene in the UK. Mm. I personally think the dating scene in the UK is very ghetto. <laughs> I'm much younger than you, but I'm 21. Ooh. I wanted to know, when you was my age, what was the dating scene like? And do you have any advice for myself or the man them who are listening? When I was when I was your age, I was in a totally I was in Coventry, so you're in London, London. twenty one. You have way more opportunity than me. There wasn't there wasn't much option in Coventry, like the dating scene there. Yeah, the man them are dating the same girls. We're all, we're all dating the same people. If we're, if we're dating, if, if if there's one her, seven men are on her. There wasn't much option. It was peak. Um, when I got back, it was all right. I wasn't, I've no, I don't really think I've just like taken girls on dates though. You haven't? No, I haven't. I'm not, I haven't done bad dates. No. I've dated. I haven't done that. Like, I wasn't like a serial dater. I'm not, yeah. yeah but, come over. I'd never been Hackersan until this year. I've never been these only with my current fiance. I'm well, going restaurant. I'm those never planning on taking girls restaurants like that. Man. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I wasn't. I wasn't a big day like that. But what I would say, see, my advice. I wouldn't give my advice to you, but I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm listening. My advice to people like closer to my age group would be to have sex first. Like, mess about. Not mess about. Have sex first. That doesn't mean mess about. <laughs> so what does that mean? Ha- like because some you see women closer to like you're young. You don't need to do this for like six years. Mm-hmm. Some people have prided themselves on not having sex, and this is what's going to work for me to find the right man. But they haven't found the right man. Mm-hmm. So how about we flip it? Have and sex then, first, and then you might find the right man because. I know men that are way more successful in finding the right girl that have had sex first. What does that mean? That the girl also had sex first. And they're here with the right person. But people are out here, oh, I don't want to do this. And you haven't found. You're just single at 37. Like, what's it like? You're, tw- you're calm. This is what I'm saying. You're calm. Okay, but I thought like I'd be married by like 22. Like, I don't know why you thought that. <laughs> you have to like, relax. Right now, I feel a bit lost. Like, nah, trash. You've got, you've got, you've got, you've got to 25, 26. That's when you panic. <laughs> panic mode, 25. Yeah, 26. at your age, Jisha, you shouldn't even be panicking. Like, you got so much time. It's crazy. Like, you got so much time. But once you're in it, don't be letting the internet tell you that you should have ick, ick. <laughs> or this isn't what men should do or this is what men should do. Just you and him create a bubble <laughs> and enjoy each other. Don't be, li- don't be looking at the internet for, oh no, babe, we should be doing, we should be doing if that's that. not what you're doing, that's not what you're doing. Like not everyone should be doing the same thing. Just do what you want to do. You too. Have your holiday. Have your chill. Have your... It just in you. It's you too. Like no one else should be telling you what to do. Like so, yeah. When you get to twenty five, twenty six, panic. Panic. <laughs> no, <it's>, um, <laughs> panic. Obviously, you recently got engaged. Mm. When did you? When and how did you know she was the one? Um, I knew. I knew months before, but it's all about timing, money, plan. You gotta have a plan. You can't just come to a woman. Ah, oh, marry me. <laughs> you gotta have a plan. And when you get when you get to it, you realize, no, nah, we gotta have a plan. What are we doing? Where are we going? When do we want it by? Put some. Okay, so I need to do this by then. That, and then everything will start to fall into place. Um, but yeah, I knew very early, um, and I wasn't scared to do it, which is good. When we when you get there, as a man, when it's time. Okay, in ten seconds, I need to go on the knee. Yes. Like it's hair now, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's hair now. I need to go on the knee. I wasn't scared. I said, "Yeah, okay, cool. I'm going down. We're hair." I wasn't nervous or panicked. Like, huh? Did you give a 
give a big speech. I thought about I had words in my head when I got down there, then nothing came out. <laughs> oh, nah, it's just, yeah. 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 Cool. <laughs> <laughs> say something because I don't know what to say right again. I forgot. No, it was peak. But yeah, I wasn't scared. But in the moment, it's real. Like, it's like, ah, I'm here. When you dropped the picture, mm. I screamed. <laughs> I sent it to her. She sent it to me. I sent it to my other friend. Literally, we all love you guys. And we was like, yes. Mm-hmm. But we were also shocked. Why? No shade. But I thought it would be VP next. Th- that's This is what I'm saying about plans, though. Their plan so, wasn't to get married first. Mm-hmm. Their plan was um to get a house, house first. first. So, again, when you talk, like, the internet will tell you this is how you should. Do it. But when you talk to your partner, she's like, no, no, I want to do it like this. So as a man, you say, oh, yeah, cool. Cool, I'm listening to you. I'll, you yeah, want? I'll implement the plan. Let's go. You know, so I spoke to her. She said, before we do that, I want to be engaged first. Say, yeah, cool. <laughs> I got that. No problem. <laughs> Sorted. And we're there. We've done it. So on to the next step. Okay. Um, the plan. Quickly, before we continue, and on topic of your engagement, I actually got you guys a gift. All of us. <laughs> Not all of you, just you oh, guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, is it wrapped? It's in a box. You can take it out if you want. It's just a little uh, cute, cute. You know, I thought of you guys. Right. See, I know how girls feel now when they get gift, you know. <laughs> you know, men don't really get gift like that. They say, what a big box. It's a bit, it's a bit heavy. Be careful though, because it's glass as well. Oh, yeah. Am shiny. I going to get robbed on the way home? <laughs> no, it's Because this shiny. ends is mad. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I know that's not your real phone, but we can pretend. Yeah, that's... oh, yeah. And the camera pick it up. Personalized guys. Two of them. Two, Mr. and Mrs. Champagne. Is it champagne? It's Brooke. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate You're welcome. it. Um, nice packaging. I wanted to ask, how many weddings have you been to, Fred? Not many, you know. I can tell because why did you think it's acceptable? Oh, <laughs> to... I'm in trouble again. <laughs> to suggest balloon art. I mess up. I thought I was being, I thought it was, yeah. Balloon B- big red thing in my head. I said, "Babe, the balloon arch is gonna go hair. It's gonna be black and gold." Black and gold. And I don't know. Then she looked at me. So I messed up. <laughs> How are wedding plans going? <laughs> it's all. It's all right. It's all right. I don't really have uh, many suggestions left. <laughs> I just have to say, yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. I'm on. I'm on entertainment. That's it. I'm on entertainment, that's it. So I just have to message my friends, say, yo, you free that day, yeah, to do... Cool, thank you. You need to get them to put in a diary because you don't want to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you say it was... Yeah, there's going to be... I'm going to make sure all of you... I'm I'm lying to them. Listen, you're supposed to be there at 4 (laughs) p.m. DJ doesn't need to start on... I'm not even going to say the time in case he listens. (laughs) You, 4 p.m. Yeah? (laughs) But you're not... Where's my DJ, bruv? You play the music off your walks. It's <laughs> peak. Before he comes. Yeah, it's peak. Oh, gosh. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm lying to him. Are you guys having a big wedding or a small wedding? In my head, it's small, but on the invoice, it's big. <laughs> Which is like, I'm sure it's we could do money. cheap, man. I'm sure we can do it cheaper. Because it's mad. They just, people, big people, as soon as they hear wedding, ha, there's the wedding rates. They increase it and they start selling it to you like, listen, this is your big day. I don't want you to book someone that isn't going to capture the moment and going to miss. And when you, you know, once everyone's packed up and go home the next day and all you have is your pictures. <laughs> Wait, the pictures don't come the next day, Fred. You know, like so I'm like, bro, <laughs> you think I'm five? Like the next day I wake up with my wife, I know what happened yesterday. I don't need, I need pictures. Essentially, I need one. Baby, I'm only putting one. I'm only putting one. What, you're going to have the whole wall with 200 pictures? One. You're not. You're going to have one. You have the photo album, the video. How many times have, you, have your mum and dad got photo album? Yeah. How many times have you looked at it? It's lost. See what I'm saying? It's lost. How many times have you looked at it? The video, how many times have you watched it? So basically, there's a picture. There's a really nice picture of me when I was like one or two. And it was my birthday. I was playing cake. My dad's holding me. I'm, someone's holding the camera recording me. I said to my mum, where's this video? She said, I don't know. Who knows? She said, I don't know. And you, it's, even, it's re- even when it was time to convert the video to DVD, no one did it. No 
one did. You know it was time to convert the DVD to USB. No one did no it. One did no one's it. watching it again. You watch it's it done. one time. I might put it on uh, YouTube, but I'll I'll probably even edit it myself. Give me the footage, <laughs> cause you know, like they take long, innit? They take give long, me the footage. Give me the memory. Easy. Give me that. Give me that. I'll do it, man. Like quick six hours edit, chop that down, put it out. I'll do it. But a whole photo album of two hundred pictures. Ah, eh. uh, I'll pay someone, but I don't need to be paying crazy money. Like I'm telling you, one picture will go on the wall. The album is there, but I don't know where after, after that. I don't know where it's gonna go after that. It's it's lost. Save it in like, a storage room or man, something. Man can't hustle me. Man can't tell me Especially after. When you're in the I've industry, I've so. got my ring. I've got my wife. What do you mean I won't remember the day? I was there. <laughs> I, I was lived there. it. I was there. What do you mean I won't? And yeah, maybe one or two will go on the gram, but Snapchat. <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't need to be telling me no crazy things, man. Like. Yeah, everyone's gonna yeah, food, drink, after open bar tab. When the drink runs out, people are saying, right, the drinks, you pay. <laughs> you pay. If one's at the bar ordering, ordering, bruv, come and dance. You know, at my people they, you know they pay for like every guests pay for their own drink. Is it? Yeah, I don't know why in this black like, African. <sighs> What's wrong with us? Culture, we just wanna be wanna bad. Be... We just wanna be guy. <laughs> Literally though Because I was Being told a story By one of my colleagues At work And she's like Yeah we got the bar And we were paying I said what You know why people They'll have 10 people there bruv Yeah Remember Tem said he went to her wedding, wedding and there was small reception. And he was the late They he were late So one. everyone's like Bro we're waiting for <laughs> you Like we're all here Like Man wanna invite 200 and pe- People go with, People take loans For their wedding I say it's oh, not that 40k not that loan and debt What's going on Telling you, oh, I wish I could save more. But, you know, people want to be coming. I messaged one, they said, oh, did, um, it's the family. I messaged one, said, oh, did you invite so-and-so? I said, listen, you focus on your invite. Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, yeah, if you want him to come, you can't come. What? <laughs> get Relax. Get yeah, Let's chill out. Charging for weddings. Hundred. I'm considering it. has got money. I'm considering it. It's cheaper for you than it is for me. <laughs> That one young thirty pounds we can, you know, all the drinks we can have. It's cheaper for you than it is for me. <laughs> Don't you can have more if you pay than if I pay. I was keeping it's up with peak. um, I don't know if you know Mo Chunks TV. She had her mm-hmm. wedding and it was really small. And yeah. she literally said to her family, "Listen, we don't care about the wedding that's happening. We, you know, after the wedding we have life to live." What? That's what we're spending on. They said, "Oh, but your auntie here wants to go. Pay for that. You lot you put pay, your money you where your mouth is. You pay, pay for it." And they Do did. You know thing? It's cheap. It's but she was 30, still like, thirty pounds. You pay. She was like no, I want a small. Only family. Mm. Family and close. What better people to please? And if you dare yeah, come to my wedding and say, "Oh, that was shit," I'll bottle you <laughs> as you leave, bro. Or they'll be like, "There wasn't even enough food." Yeah, I'll bottle your head. Like, go, you'll you'll end up in hospital talk. tonight, bro. Yeah, we're <laughs> going on Twitter to talk shit. Uh, can't, uh, what? Cool. Watch. Scratch. <laughs> Anyways, I feel like. Everything mm. I, have to say. I don't know how long we've been talking for. What time is it? Mm-hmm. About 50, 50 minutes. Oh, that's that's long enough. Mm. I want to say thank you, Fred, for coming. Thank you for having me. Thank oh. you for the, the gift. It's all right. Like, I'm just so excited. I'm sitting next to Fred Santana, guys. Like, <laughs> wow, I feel like I'm dreaming. But um, make sure you're following me on Instagram, Diary of Influencer, on TikTok, Spotify, Apple. Myself, that girl Rahima, follow Fred and the night is And baby. just so you know, the only reason I'm here today is because you're Patreon. This isn't for everybody. <laughs> this isn't even for all Patreons. It's because you asked nicely. I said, yeah, cool. Is it, when you saw my message, like, what did you think? So, yeah, cool. I read it. Yeah, it was directed at me. I was yeah, scared. Cool. I was shaking Why? in my boots. I was like, if he airs me today. Nah. Come on, Patreons actually get the best treatment from us. Like, not even just on the amount of content, just our engagement with Patreons in the messages, making sure you don't have access to the content. We reply to you, you know that you're on the right uh, tier, mm-hmm. Discord, knowing who's coming on the show, getting Cinema Club, um, early notice on tickets. Like, you know, Patreon are paying people, like, you don't pay. Yeah. So, 100, we reply. Seven pound, guys. Come on, yeah. money up. <laughs> like, what the hell? You know? That's like, that's like McDonald's. Quick. 
You know, money, you spend, want some gym is more expensive. Gym is more, Uber Eats more expensive. Just leaving my account. I haven't been since January. Oh, February, March. Yeah, it's a lot. Cancel them. Lin May said, cancel it. Yeah, but summer's coming. It's calm, man. Body positivity. <laughs> Oh. Body positivity, but every auntie I see, oh, you've gained weight. Ah, tell her oh. you two have gained. <laughs> Quick, but you know, just shush her. You two, auntie, have gained. What happened? Honestly, oh, I'm like, what if that was my 13th reason that you. And guys... before she asks you, you say, when will you marry? <laughs> before she asks you, you ask her first. Flip the script. Flip it quickly. Oh my gosh. Mm. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watch- watching and listening. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, all of that. And I'll see you in my next one.